All right, thank you. We're now moving on to our prepared speakers portion of the meeting. Everybody's got one of these little ballots. Put in your feedback for our speakers. It is greatly appreciated, but it is now my honor to introduce speaker number one. Providing you your essential guide to the Olympic Games, Paris 2024, wannabe athlete and past treasure, speaking number one is Rebecca Eggleton. She is working on her presentation, Mastery Pathway, and hopes to entertain you with some vocal variety in her speech titled, Games Wide Open. Please welcome Rebecca Eggleton. Games wide open. Friday, July 26. Today marks the official opening of the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. It's the French invitation <laughs> to the world to experience the powerful emotions and passions of sports. Can you feel it? How many of you, raise your hand, plan to watch the opening ceremonies or some of the Olympic Games? Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. You can watch 206 countries compete in over 32 sports all the way until August 11th. If you did not raise your hand, you are not part of the one billion people expected to tune in just for the opening ceremony. Uh, uh, uh. Your loss. <laughs> Let me get you ready for all things Paris 2024. Strap in because there's a lot going on and a lot has changed since the Olympics were held in Paris 100 years ago. In 1924, less than 1% of the 3,000 athletes were women. This year, 50% of the athletes are women, making Paris for the first host to achieve gender equality in games history. Ladies, we have come a long way, finally. By the way, one of the venues being considered for the 2028 Olympics, games is none other than Spats Bars, as a side note. <laughs> In 1924, athletes were housed together for the first time in an Olympic village. Before that, they were all on their own. In 2024, we have 10,500 athletes will be lodged in the newly constructed Olympic village of 3.2 million square feet. After the games, this will be converted to residential living. Another 1924 Olympic milestone was live radio casting. Can you guess what the new technology is for 2024? If you're thinking AI, you got it. You are on the money. Legendary sportscaster Al Michaels, who has been providing sports commentary for over 60 years. Roy was his second grade teacher, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> is lending his voice to brand new technology that will create personalized daily highlights on Peacock, which is NBC's streaming service. You can create your own highlight packages by picking events in advance and features you want to see. Because Al Michael has countless hours of commentary, they will harness his voice, stitch the words together to create commentary for your personal highlights. This will cost you just $7.99 a month uh, to subscribe and have this future feature. The one billion Olympic fans are either thinking, this is very cool, or I like to watch my sports with a human commentator, thank you. Which are you in? Are you in the, it's cool, anyone? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the cool camp. <laughs> Come a long way again from live broadcast radio of 1924. Now, our rundown on the games and the opening ceremony. Opening ceremony starts today at 7.30 p.m. Paris time, which is 1.30 our time. It will be the first ever held in a city center instead of a stadium. 
It starts along the Seine River and finishes near the Eiffel Tower. Picture the scene of almost 10,000 athletes on boats, 100 boats that are on a 3.7 mile journey going past Notre Dame, the Louvre, magnificent Paris sites. The route's packed with 400,000 spectators, all watching for free. And as I see all of you are here today, none of you opted for the $13,000 VIP ticket. <laughs> because of the size and complexity of the opening ceremony, it has never been rehearsed in full. Details are closely held, but Celine Dion, who is my personal favorite singer, my heart will go on, <laughs> has been spotted in Petty as a potential performer, which would make her first performance since 2020 when she stepped away from the stage due to stiff person syndrome. I'm rooting for Celine. There are 35 competition venues in Paris and its neighboring cities. If you're into surfing, you will need to be in Tahiti, which is French Polynesian, by the way. And it is the first, it is the farthest distance of an event away from the host city. So back in Paris, open water swimming and triathlon events will be held in the Seine River. This is a short of a miracle as swimming in the Seine River has been banned for the last hundred years for health reasons. Even in mid-June, testing, high levels of E. coli were found. But the French believe this has been cleaned up and they're hoping the July sunshine and the special basins that they did would take care of things. <laughs> so even the mayor decided to take a dip in the, to prove that all was good. But I think she's gonna be checking into the hospital after the opening <laughs> ceremony. <laughs> so what's my favorite, what's are my list of events to watch and perhaps you want to add to your list, gymnastics. Simone, superstar Simone Biles is performing again. We have Breaking, which is first time for the Olympics, and Kissimmee Resident is going to be performing in that. And then we have Men's Artistic Swimming. First time men are included in artistic swimming. Guys, you're probably wondering, what is artistic swimming, right? <laughs> it's aerobics with music, essentially, in the water. I'd like to end on a fun, cuddly note. The mascot is called Frisia. You have on your table some pictures here of Frisia, yes? He or she takes from the Frisian cap considered a symbol of freedom. It's like the second cousin to the Smurfs. So finally, you are ready for the Paris 2024 Olympics. Ooh la la, fellow Toastmasters. Let the games begin. Uh -huh.